assalamu alaikum dear students the fourth lecture of quantum mechanics one in this lecture we discuss about linear vector space and hilbert space basically first three lecture is related to the historical background of quantum mechanics what is the uh, why we study the quantum mechanics the history and background discuss in the previous three lectures and some other phenomena are also related to this quantum mechanics and old history of quantum mechanics the german davison experiments and photoelectric effect Com uh, compton effect and different we study later but the main uh, chapter and the main unit of quantum mechanics one we uh, we start here the second chapter of quantum mechanics one the mathematical tools of quantum mechanics the name of this chapter is the mathematical tools of quantum mechanics no first mathematical tool of quantum mechanics we discuss in this lecture this is the linear vector space and hilbert space in english also uh, the concepts of linear vector space and hilbert space in urdu and hindi is uh, uh, in my channel the link of this lecture uh, i give in the description of this lecture so uh, you can also uh, saw and watch this lecture and this lecture so the lecture is firstly we discuss about what is linear vector space and simply what is a space and what is a group in mathematics and quantum mechanics and what is an abelian group and linear vector space is a set of two uh, elements one is vector and the second element is scalars and some properties we discuss and proof of the linear vector space and this is the properties of addition rules and also called the addition properties and multiplication rules also called the multiplication properties if we uh, prove and satisfy this condition rules and properties then we can say that this is an linear vector space of these vectors and secondly we discuss about hilbert space hilbert space actually a linear vector space but some additional properties included in this space so that's why we name separately name hilbert space of a linear vector space and in the last reference books uh, which we take materials of that lecture students the today topic is a linear vector space and a hilbert space firstly we discuss about a linear vector space what is a space if you find uh, some particle in a space we use the concepts of the volume which have a particle and some objects in which space are observed we use that area for the calculation so in a uh, mathematics we use a uh, concepts of coordinates region uh, and some reference points and use the concepts of coordinates x y and z if we uh, find a particle in two dimensional system for example in x and z space so we calculate the uh, the solution of that particles and related uh, functions and some different uh, results from uh, observed from that particles uh, for example the speed of the particles and the momentum of the particles we calculate and use this area so if we find three dimensional space uh, in mathematics we use the concepts of three coordinates x y and z the main uh, concepts of x y three dimensional is the uh, roof of our room the corner of the uh, room three dimensional x y and z so in uh, quantum mechanics what is the linear vector space linear mean in the solution we find the solution in the linear equation linear type equation and vector space where some vectors are exist and we apply some vector and scalar quantities for uh, calculating the solution of that equation 
सो इन क्वांटम थ्योरी इज बिल्ड अप ऑन अ लीनियर वेक्टर स्पेस सिंपली वी कैन से दैट अ लीनियर वेक्टर स्पेस इज अ मैथमेटिकल फाउंडेशन ऑफ क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एनी इक्वेशन लेट अस कंसीडर स्टूडेंट्स इफ वी टेक एन एग्जांपल फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द लीनियर वेक्टर स्पेस लेट अस कंसीडर अ इक्वेशन and after solution we get a result and same equation we get the solution after using different method and uh, formulas and get the same solution it's mean we have a uh, one equation and solve with two different methods and get the same results so this is the combination of the linear solution both solution is a linear and after uh, the resultant of this solution is also a linear this is the meaning of linearity of a vector space so what is a linear vector space here is the definition a linear vector space consists of two sets of elements and two algebraic rules for example algebra rules we use a concepts of algebra rules in mathematics uh, algebra rules means algebraic rules mean ke yeah, phenomena uh, of addition rules and multiplication rules and some properties of these rules for example uh, commutation addition mein commutation scalars quantities and associative properties all these properties we use in mathematics similarly we the uh, all this concept we use in quantum mechanics so a linear vector space consists of two set of elements and two algebraic rules two sets of elements mean set of elements is a set of vectors psi phi psi and chi sometime we uh, pronounce xi and set of scalars a b c and so on this is the two sets of elements we use in linear vector space set of vectors and set of scalars so students by defining the linear vector space firstly we define two sets of elements the first one is the set of vectors and the second one is the set of scalars in set of vectors we have different properties and different rules first one is the addition rules and second one is the multiplication rules the addition rules which have some properties the addition rule has the properties and structure of an abelian group what is an abelian group firstly students uh, you must know what about what is a group then you can say that it is an abelian group if it has a commutative property the second name of an abelian group is the commutative group no i can write here the name of the second abelian group is the commutative group ग्रुप इज अ सेट and an operation that combines any two elements a set an operation that combines any two sets or any two elements of the set to produce a third element of the sets if we have two elements then 
यू कैन कम्बाइन दीज टू एलिमेंट्स एंड गेट अ थर्ड एलिमेंट्स विच कैन आल्सो बिलोंग्स टू द ग्रुप एंड बिलोंग्स टू द सेट दिस इज कार्ड अ ग्रुप इफ इट इज क्यूमिटेटिव इट्स मीन क्यूमिटेटिव मीन्स साई प्लस फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू इन क्वांटम मकैनिक्स सिमिलरली विच हैव अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ ग्रुप इन मैथमेटिक्स सिमिलरली इन क्वांटम मकैनिक्स वी डिफाइन अ ग्रुप इफ वी टेक टू वैक्टर्स इफ साई एंड फाइव बिलोंग्स टू वी देन फाइव प्लस साई आल्सो बिलोंग्स टू वी दिस इज कॉल अ ग्रुप प्रॉपर्टीज if you take two vectors which belongs to a any vector space v then the sum of these two vectors also belongs to the vector space linear vector space which is represent here v so commutativity mean psi plus phi which is equal to phi plus psi similar uh, simply you can say that if we take 3 plus 5 Three plus five, which is equal to five plus three. This is called commutative. The answer is same. So the second property is of addition rule is associativity, associative property. What is the associative property? Associative properties mean psi plus phi, any two vectors, sum of any two vectors. You can add two vectors plus another third vector is also added, and equal to psi plus phi plus psi. It means that uh, if we take three vectors uh, firstly you add first two vectors and then answer you get answer and add in third vector and secondly third vector you can write and find the solution of second and third vector addition then the answer will be added in the first vector the answer will be same so this is called the associativity of pa group and addition rule property and the other one is existence of a zero this mean zero should be exist for each vector psi there must exist a zero vector such that So zero plus psi, which is equal to psi plus zero, which is equal to psi. If we add zero in the vector, second vector psi, then you get an answer of psi. Same vector answer. Existence of a inverse vector of an inverse vector. For example, psi plus the inverse of this vector minus psi should be added, which equal to minus psi plus phi. it mean you can change interchange these vectors and add it you get answer is zero so the this shows that the inverse vector existence and similarly this shows that the existence of a zero vector and this is the associative properties and commutative properties in vector you can also prove that the commutative properties if you take two vectors and add these two vectors you get the same answer of these vectors for example we take a vector is equal to 3i plus 5j and similarly the b vector is 5i plus 3j these are two commutative vectors then you can add and get the same answer so if we write here these two vectors you can get a vector which is equal to 3i 
प्लस फाइव जे सिमिलरली हेयर वी एड दीज टू सिंपल नंबर्स एंड हेयर इज द टू वैक्टर्स ए एंड बी ए इज थ्री आई प्लस फाइव जे एंड बी इज फाइव आई प्लस थ्री जे students all of you know about in the vector addition you can add only i into i and j into j no if you add 3i plus 5j then you cannot add these vectors this should be zero so if we add a plus b two vectors addition and b plus a so you can write 3i plus 5j so plus 5i plus 3j which is equal to 5i plus 3j plus 3i plus 5j so the rule of the vectors addition 3i plus 5y Three i is add in five i, and five i is add three i, and five j five j added in three i three j three j added in five j. So you can get eight i. J, which is also equal to eight i plus eight j. This is the commutative property property, and you can also say that if we prove this equality of two vectors. Uh, if we change the order of the vectors then you can get the same answer this shows that this is the abelian group and also called the commutative group group this is the properties of addition rules in linear vector space now students the second one is the multiplication rules in a linear vector space the product of a scalar with a vector gives another vector simply we can say that if we multiply a scalar with a vector then you can get an answer of a vector for example a represents the set uh, is a scalar because uh, firstly in first slide we define a set of linear and a set of vector set of linear is defined by a b c small letters and the set of vectors we define psi phi and chi so if we multiply a scalar with a vector you can get a vector for example a vector is uh, 3i plus 5j 
same example we take 3i plus 5j. If we multiply by a scalar, scalar is a number 1, 2, 3 and so on. If we multiply by 2, then you can get also a vector quantity, vector. For example, 2 multiply by 3, 6, 6 i plus 2 multiply by 5, which is equal to 10, 10 j. So, this shows that if we multiply a vector with a scalar, then you can get answer in the form of vector. So, the second property is, if psi and phi are the two vectors of the space, any linear combination is A psi plus B psi is also a vector of that space. The sum of all these vectors is also a vector of the space. A and B are the scalars and psi is a vector. If we take two vector, uh, if we take one vector and two scalars multiply by these vectors with the scalars, then we add, then we can get an answer is the vector, which is belongs to this space of vector. And the third one is property is distributive property with respect to addition. A is a scalar. If we add two vectors, then we multiply by scalar, which is equal to a scalar multiply by vector plus scalar multiply by vector. If, uh, for example, uh, similar, uh, simply we can say that if we add two vectors, then multiply by scalar. The answer will be same as the if we take two vectors and multiply by same scalar. The answer should be same for both sides, left hand sides and right hand sides. If the answer is same, then you can say that the distributive property is whole. And the second one is if we add two scalars and multiply by vectors, then the answer is same if uh, scalar multiply by vector plus scalar multiply by vector then you can say that distributivity of with respect to addition for the multiplication rule is exist and also say that holds now students the next point of the multiplication rule is associativity associative property with respect to multiplication of scalars simply we can say that if multiply a scalar with a vector then answer should be multiply with a scalar which is equal to if we multiply both scalars then multiply by with the vectors the answer will be same for example uh, firstly, if we multiply uh, one scalar with the vectors, then uh, the second scalar multiply. And if we uh, multiply both scalars, then uh, the answer should be multiplied with the vectors. The answer should be same. Then you can say that associative properties hold. Existence of unitary scalar i and a zero scalar o Sometimes you can say that O and also you can say that 0. Such that I is the identity. All of you know about what is identity in mathematics. Identity is a, uh, if we take a matrices, for example, 1, 0, 0, 1. This is the matrix of identity. 1 represents the identity if we take uh, this type of matrices then you can say that it is a identity matrix matrices. So if we multiply identity mean 1 if we multiply 1 with a scalar uh, vector which is equal to if we multiply by vector with a 1 you can get same vector because 
if we multiply one with any number you can get the uh, the answer of same of that number for example uh, the table of one if we multiply by one with one you can get one also if we multiply one with the two you can get two students similarly which one of any number which multiply by well, uh, one you can get same number like one and two this is the identity of a uh, matrices in mat uh, mathematics and if we multiply vectors with a identity you can get a vector in quantum mechanics and if we multiply by zero with any vectors you can get zero answer if any vector multiply by zero you can get zero all these properties holds then you can say that the uh, this is a group or properties of multiplication rules if we um, satisfied all these properties of addition and multiplication rule then you can say that this is a linear vector space I hope so the concepts about the addition rules and multiplication rules and also what is a linear vector space are all of clear and clear all of you the second part of today lecture is hilbert space in the first part we define a linear vector space now students if we prove the linear vector space properties then some additional properties x and some additional properties included in the hilbert space then you can say that this is a this is a hilbert space and the second definition of the hilbert space is a hilbert space this h denotes the hilbert space also you can say that represents the hilbert space consists of a set of vectors phi psi and chi and a set of scalars a b c and so on which satisfies the following four properties then you can say that this is a hilbert space the first property is is a h is a linear space h mean hilbert space is a linear space and simply we can say that hilbert space is a linear vector space and the second property is h has an inner product operation what is an inner product further we know that about we discuss about what is an inner product and the third point is h is complete and the fourth point is h is separable what is the meaning of all these four properties we can explain one by one so this is the definition of hilbert space first property we explain in the previous slides linear vector space h is a linear vector space here linear space mean k h has a uh, two sets of elements the one set is a uh, vectors and the second set is a uh, scalars and proves and holds the properties of the addition rules and the multiplication rules which we discussed earlier so the second property is h has an inner product operation we discuss here now students the next point is hilbert space has an inner product operation inner product is also called a dot product or a scalar product like we have two vectors a and b then the inner product or dot product of a and b which is equal to a dot b which is equal to ab cos of theta
similarly the concepts of vector we use here for the inner product of inner product of two vectors for hilbert space h has a defined scalar product that is strictly positive strictly positive mean if we take a scalar product of two vectors a dot b itself then the product answer will be equal to greater than 0 or less than or equal to 0 or greater than 0 it's mean the product scalar product of two vectors in hilbert space is always positive answer given the positive answer complex conjugates the scalar product of two vectors for example psi and phi is equal to the complex conjugate or you can also say that the complex number of the scalar product of psi phi with psi which is equal to psi dot phi which is equal to phi dot psi star steric shows the complex conjugate or complex number it means if we take two vectors the dot product of two vectors then if we change the order of the vectors then we can get the answer equal answer if we take the complex conjugate what is a complex conjugate for example if we take two vectors a and b a is equal to x a is equal to x plus aorta y if we take the complex conjugate of vector a it means the complex conjugate we represents a vector a with steric and which is equal to its mean complex conjugate mean the sign of these resultant of this vector is change for example a is equal to x minus aorta y this is the conjugate or complex number of a vector a if vector is x plus aorta y then the conjugate or complex number of a is equal to x minus aorta y So this is the complex conjugate of a scalar product or a inner product operation. Linear, it means psi dot phi which is equal to phi dot psi steric. Linear with respect to second vector. For example, second vector is phi. This is a linear combination with respect to the second vector. The scalar product of phi with psi is linear with respect to second vector if so the proof is here if we take two vectors uh, their vector, scalar product is linear with respect to the second vector for example if psi is equal to a psi 1 plus b psi 2 psi 1 and psi 2 is two vectors and a and b are scalar uh, scalars then scalars multiply by with two vectors two different scalars multiply by with two different vectors and then add these two scalar and vectors which is equal to a vector which is equal to psi so so student this is the same slide we discussed in the previous slides and uh, some mistake we uh, i observed in the in that slides that's why we removed the mistakes uh, here we use dot psi dot phi and phi dot psi so uh, for writing style we use comma not dot so students uh, you can clear this concepts and remove these mistakes uh, and understand this context the uh, concepts of this slide is similar but uh, for removing these mistakes we the uh, we use these slides again
now students in the first equation we say that if we take two vectors psi and phi then the this is a linear combination of these vectors with respect to the second vector or you can also say that second factor if the combination of this reaction is anti linear then its mean the relation is anti linear if with respect to the first vector if phi is equal to a phi 1 plus b phi 2 then the relation of these vectors is a phi 1 plus b phi 2 with psi the first vector and which is equal to the a steric phi 1 psi plus b steric phi 2 psi is always positive. No student, uh, you cannot confuse uh, in, in the sum books and steric not not present. So it means if antilinear, then we use here the steric for complex conjugate because if two vectors then uh, the linear combination anti-linear combination which is equal to the steric because uh, in the start of the hilbert space we say that if we take two vectors then if we change the order of this vector then which is equal to the steric or complex conjugate of this vector so this steric is used for the complex number or complex complex conjugate so is always positive the next point of this the scalar product of a vector psi with with itself is a positive real number. Any vector, if we take any vector, then the scalar product of this vector by its uh, with itself is always positive. Because if we take psi, phi, psi, chi, any vector, if we take psi, psi equal to psi dot psi. Psi dot psi which is equal to the psi square. Psi square means square mean the answer of this vector is always positive. Positive mean is always greater than zero. And why we use equal sign for this? Because where the equality holds means equal sign we use. If this vector should be zero, if psi is zero, then also answer will be zero. So this represents the and shows the positivity of the vector which we say in the start of the Hilbert space the inner product is strictly positive so this shows that the inner product of this vector is strictly positive this is the main points of the second point of the Hilbert space now students the next point is Hilbert space is separable what is the meaning of separable? Firstly, we understand the meanings of separable. Separable means countable or dense subset. For example, in a metric space, metric space we uh, usually use in mathematics. Uh, if we have two vectors, a metric, if we have metric space X do, uh, and B is said to be separable. If it has a countable dense subset of x. For example, we have a matrix space x and d. It's said to be separable if it has a countable dense subset of x. The set of real numbers has a countable dense subset. Uh, no students, uh, here I understand you what is the meaning of the separable and countable dense subset. For example, if we take a rational numbers, if we take a rational numbers Q, Q is a rational number, has a countable dense subset of re, uh, real numbers has a countable dense subset of rational number. Mm -hmm. Number 
means q belongs to p by q p by q which is an integer an integer is a countable why rational numbers are countable that's why rational numbers are countable so uncountable mean if we take a gap between the real numbers or also are irrational numbers then it's mean some points exist between this space or these uh, real numbers then we can say that these are the irrational numbers but if we take countable then subset subset means p and q is belonging to z integer and q is not equal q is not equal to 0 is not equal to 0 is all of these are subset of real numbers q is equal to p by q belongs to z q is not equal to 0 p and q belongs to z you can write p and q belongs to z is a subset of real number it's mean dense subset and countable so there exists a Cauchy sequence psi of n belongs to Hilbert space and n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. Psi of n is a vector which is belonging to the Hilbert space and n denoted for 1, 2, 3 and so on. So such that for every psi of Hilbert space and belonging to greater than 0, there exists at least one psi of n of the sequence for which psi minus psi of n is less than of epsilon naught. This is the uh, Hilbert space proof that the H is separable. Simply students, uh, this is the calculated formula and we can say that this is the Hilbert space is separable. But the concepts behind this separable is mean the dense and countable subset of the numbers which belongings to that space. Now students, the last point of Hilbert space is the complete. H is complete. It means having no gap. No students clear the concepts between the complete and incomplete. What is the meaning of complete and incomplete? For incomplete, we use the concepts of the rational numbers. Rational numbers denoted by Q, Q is incomplete. What is the meaning of Q is incomplete? It means Q is incomplete. Meaning of incomplete means, for example, this is the line of Q rational numbers. For example, here exists a point 3 and here exists a point 4 and in between after the 3, here exists a 3.1. And here is 3.2, for example. Now we raise the 4. We take 3.1 and 3.2. Now in between 3.1 and 3.2, here exists a number 3.14. This is the value of pi. Pi is a irrational number. So this is a gap between the rational numbers. So that's why we can say that Q is incomplete. Because between the Q numbers, 
rational numbers exist and irrational numbers but r is complete r is you know represents the real number and real number is complete because real numbers have the q and q dash means rational numbers and irrational numbers so real number is complete hilbert space h is complete mean there is no gap uh, for using complete concepts of hilbert space we use real numbers not rational numbers because in rational number uh, rational number is incomplete this is the meaning of complete and no gap for hilbert space now the concepts every cauchy sequence i of n h converge to an element of hilbert space uh, converge means any point of the numbers which we take any sequence converge at any point which is also belongs to that space that is for any psi of n the relation when limit is applied n m is reaches to infinity for example we can write this line in terms of limit limit n m approaches to infinity then limit n m approaches to infinity then psi of n minus m the product of two vectors which is equal to 0 this shows that the hilbert space is complete so define a unique limit of psi and h such that limit in which n approaches to m so that psi of n minus psi of n which is equal equal to 0 because of students uh, m approaches to n that's why we used n in uh, in case of m so that's why psi of n minus psi of n equal to 0 this is the concept of the hilbert space is complete all these properties if satisfied all these properties then you can say that this is a hilbert space now in this lecture we discuss about linear vector space and hilbert space now student this is our today lecture about the linear vector space and hilbert space actually we start the second unit of quantum mechanics uh, and the main portion of the quantum mechanics we start here now students you also prepare simultaneously and if you have any problem then you can ask me on comment box and in the class so this is the main tools of quantum mechanics if you learn and understand then you uh, your base of quantum mechanics is strong if you not prepare then you can lose the base of the quantum mechanics this is the basic tools of quantum mechanics we used in all quantum mechanics and in advanced quantum mechanics so also uh, i suggest that you prepare two main tools and the first topic of this uh, unit linear vector space and hilbert space we discuss and the same uh, lecture about the linear vector space and hilbert space all, uh, also present in my playlist of quantum mechanics one in urdu at my youtube channel so you can also comparison these two lectures same lecture linear vector space and hilbert space in urdu and in english you can both observe, uh, watch both lectures and prepare your notes i hope so you understand this concepts of linear vector space and hilbert space no uh, we meet in the next lecture Uh, with the next topic of this uh, unit and if you have any problem then you can ask me in the next lecture if you prepare then you can ask me if you don't uh, don't prepare then you lose the concepts of the basic quantum mechanics
थैंक यू सो मच एंड अल्लाह हाफिज़